So now let's see how we can work around with the fill option inside of Pixlr E. So over here, you can see that I have an image opened up. And in order to work around with the fill option on the left side, you can see fill bucket is here. If I were to click on it, then you can see that this is fill. And now what I can simply do is you can see that I got a bright sky right here. If I were to click here, you can see that the color immediately gets replaced with the foreground color that I have selected right here. Let me just press Ctrl Z right here. And if I were to click on the color, I can select another color of my choice and press OK. And if I were to click on it, you can see that the background gets replaced with that color. Let me just press Ctrl Z again. And what I can do is I can increase the tolerance level as well. So if I were to click on this, you can see that over here, there's like a bit of like uh, color, which is not being uh, fully covered up. In that case, what I can do is I can go, go around into tolerance, go around over here and click here. And you can see that it really increases out the range where the color is applied. And similarly, I can go around, decrease the tolerance and find that sweet spot uh, for which I want the color to be replaced. So as I de really decrease out the tolerance, you can see that it only affects some part. Uh, and as I increase out the tolerance right here, you can see that it uh, like go around, go, goes around and then fills out more part right there. Similarly, I can work around with the opacity, decrease out the opacity right here. And I can also go around and then go around with uh, more opacity as per what I like. I can also go around and work around with the anti-alias. So right now what is happening is that as I click, you can see that anti-aliasing is happening. But if I were to turn off anti-aliasing, it is more like a sharper fill. So you have those options right there while using the fill. And that is how you can work around with the fill color option inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.